welcome to the next session on bw bridge so in today's session we are going to discuss about how to create info objects in bw bridge and how to maintain master data okay so we let's jump into the eclipse perspective so in our previous sessions we already discussed on how to create a project in in eclipse environment related to bw bridge it is not a direct bw project from the bw perspective we need to uh, you know create a project like uh, file you know, bw bridge project so when we go to bw bridge project it is asking either service key or a cloud foundry so i am providing the service key and created a project here so from this uh, project we are going to create our bw modeling objects okay uh, it is just like our BW, so with the info object creation, the concept of info object and the concept of any ADS for composite provider, all are similar to the um, all are similar to the BW for HANA only. So I have one info area G training and then I have an, one more info area GS made. Under that, I am going to create one info object. So right click here, go to new, create info object. Okay. So I am creating my info object under temporary package only, just giving a name as a G uh, S plant. So this info object creation concept is uh, completely you know similar to our uh, BW concept. So I'm not going in depth of you know updating all this. Okay, here we need to provide a package. Okay, so now uh, info object, uh, you see, uh, creation of info object. And now we can see GS Pent, and I'm giving the length as here, uh, length three, and I'm enabling text master data for this info object. Okay, and remaining all, I'm not changing anything in the master data text. Uh, instead of short text, I'm going to update the medium text. So all these concepts are similar to BW. So nothing uh, new here. So already all these are got explained in the BW4 HANA playlist. So you can learn from there what is info object and what are all these properties. Here the main motto is how to create an info object BW bridge. So to understand where we exactly create the you know, info objects. And then if we want to maintain master data in this info object from where we can maintain the topic we are going to cover. So currently this info object is getting activated. So once the info object is getting activated, then we can see this info object from a BW bridge cockpit. I will show you where we see that. Okay, info object got activated. Now I am jumping into the BW bridge cockpit page. So in the BW page cockpit page under the data sphere, you know, data display and maintenance uh, tab, we can see two application to um, Fiori apps. One is info object my data maintenance. Okay, master data maintenance. If I go to this uh, Fiori app, here we can search for our info object data plant. We can see it here. So click on this one. Here, because it is a master data in object and enabled for text, so here we can see the text master data maintenance screen here. And if you want to maintain, uh, you know, a data, simply go here, add line. So here I am trying to add, for example, and type page zero zero one. Okay, P P zero. Okay, okay. Uh, P zero one. Okay, and then uh, I'm giving here plant zero one. And if you want to add one more line, simply add one more line. P zero two and zero two. Okay, that's it. And then click on save button here. Where is it? On the bottom, we can see the save button. Click on save button. So the text master tab got up to uh, save. 
close it and here you see from this here itself we have a manage button also um, let's go here if for example if you are loading data using data sources and all and if you want to see the request and everything you can now go here and uh, as of now you can see uh, two records got inserted into this one okay that's it uh, this is how to maintain master data, uh, master data here because I enabled only text master data, I am enabling text here. But if you have any already added some attributes and you want to maintain, you know, attribute master data, that also you can perform uh, in the single screen. Okay, from the info object master data maintenance screen. So the next thing is, so how uh, once this, uh, once you created info object and then you maintain master data, and if you want to consume this master data in a data sphere, so how can we consume? Okay, so I will explain that now. From the data sphere, uh, from the data sphere uh, <coughs> screen, uh, if we go to the, the data builder, in the data builder, currently I opened the BW bridge space because when we configure in BW bridge, we configure BW bridge as a space in the data sphere. So I opened that BW bridge space here. And then I can see uh, different, uh, you know, uh, inbound connections here. I went to tables. Now I want to see my uh, whatever info object I created. I want to consume that particular table in my data sphere. So for that, what we are going to do? First, we are going to go to the table section. Here we are going to the import entities from the BW to our BW page. So select connect and then, and then click on next. And then select the BW bit space. Next. So we are currently uh, importing it as a, a remote table. Okay. Here I am searching my uh, table GS plant because the info object name is GS plant. I am searching with the GS plant. You see, I found GS plant text because it's a text master data. Select this one. So then it will uh, then click on next. Here I can see ready for import. Select it and start import and apply. Then so here where it is now. Zero plant, where is it? In the table section. So now just uh, I switched from all files again to tables. Now it was refreshed. Now I can see my plant, you know, as a remote table here, which is that came from uh, BW bridge GS plant text. Okay, uh, this is how we can bring uh, data into this uh, BW bridge space. Okay, from our BW bridge modeling. Okay, so from here, if you want to create a further, we can do it. And if this space was shared with another space, then we can consume these tables also. Okay. 